for trying to get a sense of this board. Nothing has changed from last week as it pertains to the top five. But there's a team in the Pac-12 that's making their way, inching, inching closer to that top four. But their path is very, very clear. They they cannot lose another game, and that's USC. Yeah, USC uh, thumped Colorado, and they moved up to number seven. And you look ahead for USC. Right now, they've only got one win against a top 25 team, and that's Oregon State that, that jumped back into the top 25 this week. But you look at the rest of their schedule. At UCLA this week, then home against Notre Dame. If they beat UCLA, they'll be in the Pac-12 title game. So USC could end the season with three consecutive wins against top 25 teams. That would give them a 4-1 and one record against top 25 teams. And then you compare that with Tennessee. Tennessee they're they're done. they're basically done. A 2 and 1 record against top 25 teams to beat LSU, they beat Bama, obviously they lost to Georgia. Tennessee all three of those games were against teams that will remain in the top 10. USC could be 4 and 1 with no wins against top 10 teams but top 25 teams and then the committee would have to decide is a Pac-12 one loss champion more worthy of a playoff bid? than Tennessee that a lot of people think has played one of the toughest schedules in America. Um, that that will be fascinating to see what happens if that's for the, the fourth and final spot. I'm not saying I would do it. I think in that scenario, the committee would award the Power 5 champion USC Trojans and put them in the playoff. Man, I hope I'm wrong. Think- it, it makes you hope you're right. It makes me look back at the, the the Utah game. Of course, was a thriller. They were right there. Utah goes for the win at the end, and I guess the challenge this week, just to get a thought, maybe on this week's game, UCLA off a loss to Arizona, that puts USC in a tough spot. You got a motivated Chip Kelly team. Yeah, and I, I liked. Look, I was uh, somebody on this call. I won't say their their uh, their name, but their initials were Brett McMurphy. Was uh, dumb <laughs> enough to put UCLA projected into my um, college football playoff two weeks ago because uh, they were just dominating against Arizona State. And you're right, they laid an egg against Arizona. Uh, but I, I like UCLA in this game. I just think their offense is incredible. DTR has been tremendous. If he wasn't playing all of his games at 2 a.m. on the Pac-12 network, I think he would be a legit Heisman candidate. And USC's defense is horrendous. So far, they've been able to get past a very weak schedule. I think it changes this week. And DTR, you know, you're not supposed to talk trash in these rivalry games. Well, forget that. On Monday, he was saying how he wants to score 60 on the Trojans again after they did it last year. But, yeah, Brendan, I like UCLA in this game. Uh, it opened up there. We're getting three or four. It's it's close to pick them now. I don't care. Uh, g- give me the Bruins. 